Should you wait till your tank is near empty before filling up petrol? If questions like this have crossed your mind, then you're in good company. Today we'll be taking a closer look at some of the daily habits and social conventions that make up the monotony of life. Let's feel uncomfortable applying sunscreen to someone else's back. <laughs> Grab your knitting needles and a blanket because it's time for three old friends to sit around and sew a new patch into their quilt of friendship. So join me, Dion, under the covers with Christian. Welcome to Patchwork. And Josh. Welcome to Patchwork. Now, before we get started, uh, in another bizarre turn of events, there is more turtle updates to be had. Oh, wow. wow. So, just yesterday, got a little knock on the door. It was the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha! And someone turned up. And uh, it was Lee. Lee was the partner of Vin. Oh, Vin. Oh. So, I didn't speak to, to Lee. I spoke to Vin. But now I'm seeing Lee in the flesh. This lovely... Short little old lady oh, who'd come over, and Christian, if you'd like to get, I want to film this for our socials. Oh sure. And we had a great chat. We chatted about Samantha, and she gave me this. She gave you something. What is this? <laughs> oh, oh my god! Wow, Sorry. it's a bottle of something. So I haven't opened this. It's a bottle and there's a card with Josh written on it. Great. Oh. I haven't read this yet. So I was waiting till we were here to do it. Awesome. Okay. So the card reads, and I haven't seen this yet. Okay, it's got a little, little floral, lovely little floral card there. Obviously painted by Samantha. And so they say, um, hi, Josh. Thank you so much for rescuing our turtle. Oh. We were worried she was going to get run over. She is probably now leading a very happy oh. life in the Merry Creek. Thank you again. Hope you like wine, Lee and Vin. Oh, Great. Oh, it's, so it's, a, nice. it's such a pity you don't like wine. Oh, such a <laughs> p- I, guess, I guess we'll have to drink it. That's fine. The but blood yeah. of Samantha. <laughs> but yeah, we had a lovely chat and she was just like super thankful of... Yes, this is um this is very kind of you to do that and the, to, to the, save it. The rustling you can hear is Josh opening up uh, what see. looks to be it's a, a four sisters cab sack. Oh, it's a cheap, great! It's a cheap one. My word, it's a cheap one. They're not that grateful, but um, <laughs> but yeah, super super lovely for Lee to come around and do that. And I think that should probably be the end of the turtle saga. I don't know. I don't know because I'm know. kind of invested in going back to the Merry Creek and seeing if we can find Samantha now. I Let's also found out that Samantha you would, um used to get fed mince meat. What? <laughs> I'm not that up for visiting her now. <laughs> really? Mince meat? Yeah, because that's what the former owner used to feed it. Oh, and then God. Lee and Vin got it and we're like, hey, Samantha likes mince meat. She's like, Th- all right. That's why. So there was this moment when <gasps> Samantha was at our doorstep. The few m- minutes that I got to spend with her where I ran inside because Josh was like, hurry up. I'm bringing her back to the Merry Creek. I ran inside and I went to the fridge and I pulled out some rocket oh. <laughs> and I dropped the leaves right next to her head. And it was the one moment that her head popped out of the shell and she turned to me and just made <laughs> eye contact with me. And now I understand that eye contact was, no, I have a taste for blood. <laughs> but you know why you've been given a bottle of wine? Obviously, the wine was meant to be used as a reduction for the, for the mints and didn't end up getting used. So there's oh, the wow. bottle of wine. <laughs> Poor Samantha. So, Josh, I was thinking, they've given you that bottle of wine. Mm. Is there anything that you could give them that you think might make their day? I was thinking, like, trip to the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, where um, zoo where you can see big where, tortoises. Where, where they can see more tortoises that have been held <laughs> yeah. hostage. Or an introduction to a car garage um, door person. <laughs> <laughs> or, or something. A security <laughs> car. Something, something. Um, no, I, don't, I don't owe them anything at this point. No, no, and, no, and no, 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 no. It's not about owing them. It's about, it, would it be really nice to get him something? Um, yeah, but I think now my conscience is clean because she made a big deal, which I guess is the case when you have a missing person. We just want to know what happened. And now they know what's happened to Samantha. Yeah. It's, it's not closure. a mystery. Yeah, it is yeah. closure. It's yeah. absolutely closure. That's true. Because that was a big thing she kept going on about. She's like, we, we, just, we just had no idea what was going on. We were just desperate to know. And yep. now we know. So It's a closed case. And who knows, Mr. Minute might make an appearance <laughs> where he, he maybe he discovers what Samantha is up to now. Probably not, though. I wouldn't think. <laughs> you wouldn't think, Dion? I wouldn't think so. Well, Dion would it. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. 
I was driving to uh, the cinemas the other day. It was really great to be able to uh, attend the cinemas because I haven't probably done it in 10 years. Uh, it's not a lockdown thing. It's just because I don't watch movies. Um, but anyway, I was driving. I was expecting a laugh. I was driving uh, and expecting a laugh there as well. <laughs> <laughs> you um, got it on the third one. Thank you. And I was, uh, I was driving and noticed that uh, my um, dial for my petrol was quite low. And I posted this on social media, but basically I typically allow my dial on my fuel to get very, very, very low before I I top up. Um, and I, I think I referenced on social media as well that a couple of times I have run out of petrol um, approaching uh, the petrol station. So you ride that line. I ride that line. I don't do it like because I'm edgy. I just do it because... I sort of you're lazy. Um, no, no, no. It's not yeah, lazy. Not no, no, no. laziness. I can explain it. It's not. Could you? <laughs> I absolutely can. <laughs> if you need a hand, please do. Because I also ride the line. I've run out of petrol in my car probably four or five times Great! in my life. Four Great! or five. To the point there was a series of times where I had to buy a jerry can filled with petrol to leave in the boot because I was like, it Me will too. happen again. Me too. Still got the jerry can. It, the- I, I I once stopped about twenty meters short of the petrol station. Yes, yeah, so well. have I. Had- I, I mine was pulling into the petrol station. I'm like, thank God, going to be easy to roll in from Did here. It- did it do that cartoon thing where yeah, <laughs> yeah. The, I, the air con went off and I'm like, oh, I am so close to this being is, done here. This is fascinating because on Instagram, I put up a poll and it was an anonymous poll. Who, who, who's this happening to right now? Yeah. And I chose me or Josh. I didn't realize it should have been you or me. I would never have guessed in it's, a million it's years. Out of, it's not in my character set. Yeah. If if yeah, if you were to pick my character in a video game, mm. you would not expect that. If my character in the video <laughs> game was driving to a petrol station, <laughs> it would run out of petrol before getting well, your there. Your stats is fuel consciousness. Yeah, <laughs> it would be higher. I'd be at 99. But it's because every time I get in the car, I leave. And I said this, I think, last patch. I leave just enough time uh, to get to the destination. Yep. So the moment that I'm like, I'm really empty here, mm. or do I want to be late? I choose... Riding the line. Yep. And I do that as well. And it's gotten me into trouble. But I was thinking... It's really not something we've canvassed on Patchwork. We've canvassed the kitchen, the bedroom, but not the petrol station tarmac. <laughs> tarmac? And tarmac. It is a tarmac. There's what a guy with it... ping pong paddles well, waving yeah. you in. <laughs> that Come would be... I'd, be... I'd really appreciate that. Any Come sort on, of mate. direction into it. No, because... Okay, so... What are yeah. you struggling with? Let me, let me ask you both a question about the petrol station. Driving in, mm. do you know immediately what side your petrol tank is on? Nah, forget. Yeah, so <laughs> you have to look at the little icon I yeah. it's about every yeah. time. I think it's about yeah. 50-50. Sometimes I remember and then others I check just to be sure. I would, I would just love because it's... Yeah. Like, Josh, we have two-way roads, right? We understand what a road is. You go up one way, down the yeah. other way. Here, it's chaos. You can go in and out in any direction. No, no, no. This is dumb. This is dumb because if everyone had the, the, the thing on the same side... Then you petrol stations would have to be designed completely differently. No, no, no. I'm not I'm not taking issue with that. I'm taking issue with the chaos of it is chaos. Some people come in and then turn their car the other way to get it, it's just it's you okay. don't know which way to mm. approach the it's tank. It's only mm. chaos on the smaller ones that have like four cents cheaper than everywhere else. Mm. And people are like hanging oh, yeah. out onto the road, queuing yep. up for it. I was like, guys, just pay like five or six dollars more for your petrol and go somewhere else it's not even that much it's do you like think it works that? out to be a couple of bucks that's do what you... i mean if you're say if you're say, let's say it's four or five cents mm. per liter it's that's not adding for a full tank it's not that much money if i you're could gonna sit have there, sworn that you would be someone who would drive around for the best price i, I try to hit it on the lows but i'm not going to sit at one of the cheap <laughs> places also, in a queue i'm not queuing up just to get sounds petrol. like he's scoring drugs <laughs> i'll hit it on the lows <laughs> Also, this is all part of our uh, generally out of touch kind of demeanor. That is a lot of money for some people. For some people, like driving around kids, like sure. that's that's a couple hundred bucks a year. But that's a thing. How about yeah. the idling waiting in that queue? Yeah, for, for twenty minutes. Yeah, you know, very interesting. You know, think about yeah. those things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we do. We but really I... do need to think about those. <laughs> so I think I've run out of petrol once. And then, oh, like, really? Goody, goody, yeah. Josh. And so the <laughs> thing is, it's all about. The, the petrol fill up, it's always on the way home. It's net like, oh. as you were saying, it's never to the destination because you can't afford that time. Mm-hmm. But when you're that low and the light's on, when you're coming home, you go, you grit your teeth and you go, I just need to do it. Christian, you bite the bullet here. Game changer comment or not? Uh, no. Really? It's, it's I, quite I, good I, though. I definitely fill up on the way because... Really? Because oh. I will, out of sheer laziness on the way home, and I acknowledge this is laziness, yep. I want to get home yeah. so bad yep. that I go, mm. I reckon... Next, next time, time. when I start time. it up, 
it's got to be in the first five minutes. And I'll start the car and go, you are going straight to a petrol station. It really doesn't take long, though, does it? It's very quick. It's probably less. It's less than ten minutes, no, right? Yeah, it's like less than ten minutes. Ten Easy. minutes, no, as in like easily less than ten. I mean, if you've at. got one of those Bowsers that are slow, you really and that, agonizing. And right? isn't that one of the moments in your life you can't touch your phone? Can you? you just got to look around. <laughs> just got to be a normal human looking around. I have gotten into the habit. So I'll do two things. Number one, I'll huff the smell oh, for the first yeah. like. You know, minute of just the film. And they just zoned out for the rest of it. <laughs> and then, yeah. And then I watch the numbers fly away into the sky. Um, uh, do you have a particular technique when you're filling up? Uh, <laughs> so you grab, you grab the boy out of the, yeah. the holster, uh, you twirl yeah, it on your finger absolutely. a few times. Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 and before, squirt, squirt the people <laughs> driving past. Before we move on from that, what I like to do, this is such a time economy thing, but because it takes a while for the, the, the pump to settle in, the minute I can get my hands on it and lift it out, I'll do it, and oh, yeah. then I'll open up the <laughs> the That's door. That's a good one because ah. it's because co- I just want to put it in and oh, squeeze. So do you start <laughs> squeezing before you're in there? No, no, no. I lift it off because it has to do stuff. So someone has to. What is happening <laughs> in the moment between squeeze and nothing coming out, and I then you think, have to squeeze? Isn't squeeze. it the guy, the person inside, no. is going telling it yes. back to zero? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no that's yeah. automatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. No, I don't think so. I think it's manual. I That's think the it, guy at the no, till. I think he there's, needs. I think that he or she needs to give approval. They go, we're going to fire up Bowser <laughs> six. Yeah, there's like a there ding, 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 and they're like, fuck, someone's a Bowser six, someone's a Bowser seven. Got to hit a. Pr- oh, I, Why? I, and I almost reckon that they're looking at you and assessing you. Next time, next time you go to fill up, just eyes eyes on the counter. As yeah. soon as as soon as you get there, and just stare at them it's the whole time away, and see. Yeah, I've tried. Oh, I squint. Do you know what that is? That why they always know. Where, what thing you're at Because they've They've clicked uh, it on Yeah Maybe. I think so Or, or, or they just or bloody like, geniuses Or there's like 12 stations And they see the one car At station 8 And they go Alright you're station 8 But very rarely get it wrong I mean you Christian you work for A digital agency We have a website You let our um, a domain name lapse And that's your job But so these guys I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry Did you want me to play this first? <laughs> Yeah, sure. I let I let the domain name lapse. Yeah, because so many people buying welcome to patchwork.com.au. Got a Is domain that... sitter on our Wait, did you do it on purpose? You let our domain maybe, lapse Christian? Maybe. Oh, Generate that's... some buzz. <laughs> Just wanted some contact form So so back to the, the actual process of the filling up. Christian, do you have a process when you pull it out? What are you doing? I will I so yeah, I'll pull it out um and then it's it's going straight in. To yep. the car, but I'm turning around and I'm filling up reverse. Oh, reverse pump, like you're facing, putting on a handbrake kind of thing. Yeah, Why? what do you want to see? Uh, I want to watch. I want to watch the tally go up. I want to see how slow it's going. Are you up. leaning oh. on the car at this time? Yeah, leaning yeah, on the car. Cash, mm-hmm. prob- light up a fag, have yeah. a smoke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> probably get pull it. I'll probably pull my phone out very quickly. No, yep. very quickly, and then and then I'll have the same thought in my head every time I go. This is doing nothing. I'm not. I'm not. There's no. What, does he what, know? The, the, I don't the, think the, he knows, Josh. What? Well, you can't. You're not allowed to. I know you're not allowed to. That's why I do it quickly. Oh, but <laughs> I but see. It, but I have the same thought. I have the exact same thought, which is pull the phone out, and then I go. You're not allowed to do this, and then I have a quick look, and I go. I mean, what 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 could happen? What am I going? And then it's like then, two minutes, right? And then I go of your life. And then right after that, I go. Yeah, but you don't want to be the person who caused the thing, whatever that thing was, and then it goes back in the pocket. no, because you'll be dead. That's yeah. why you don't want to be that person. But but I do the same thing every time, and he's still here. How about you, Dion? What are you, what's your little process like? Uh, my little process is yeah, just just trying to get in there as quickly as possible. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, there's really not a lot happening. Oh, but I do generally fill up right to the top, and I reckon I have gotten to. It's, it, the last one I did was like 68 litres out of 70 litre tank. And that's very, very... Uh, that wow. makes me feel good. How many times are both of you going again when it automatically shuts off? Yeah. I mean, a little the bit. temptation is to always. And yeah. I, no, no, no. But you shouldn't. Because that is your oh. car... Yeah, because I. Oh, yeah, why should you? No, no, no. That's to maximize car- to put most more fuel. No, in. But you no, don't know no, what's happening. No, yes, I do. Should, no, you no, shouldn't. Because it comes it up and hits. The, no, it comes up and hits the nozzle. But and that's the point. It shouldn't be completely full. There should be a little bit of space at the top because there are yeah. things that detect, like the carburetor has to take in the petrol. Right? There's there's gauges, there's sensors. It doesn't want right. to be that full. Do you know what my dad used to do after he used to finish filling up? I actually still think he does this. He gives the car Puts a an big- ice cube in there. <laughs> He, makes, he, he gives the car a big um, Kiss. push, oh, <laughs> like to, a big push to get the air bubbles out, and then he goes in again. Sorry, oh, right. he gives the car a yeah. push. <laughs> he pushes what, it. He gives it a jab. Settling a jar of rice. <laughs> <laughs> you, Wait, is that what? a thing? 
you know, when you want to make more space in a Tupperware oh, container. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah. I think he is doing that. <laughs> That's great. Um, but no, he does it to get the air. I don't know. Someone, it's one of those things that I think someone back in the day told him to do it. And he was like, no, yeah, I'll do that. So what I tend to do, and this is what my dad taught me, is I will go and stand at the rear of my car and like reach around oh God. and put it in That's because, hot. <laughs> because then dad's like, if anything, is this the car on its front? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. If anything, if anything, if anything splashes out, it's not going to get on you because you're standing behind the car. So my hand is reaching around quite oh, safely. This, no, that's, What's that splashing seems, out? Yeah, I feel so like it's that's, car. It's if there's air bubbles averse. and it's not settled, <laughs> yeah, it's great. Out. And so, and then I'll normally like go till it finishes and then go a bit more and then try and round up the dollars. I'm, yeah. I'm Love rounding Why? up. So you're paying with card. What's nah, the point? Nah, I'm I with Josh. It. I love it. <laughs> yeah. And then also when you get in to pay for it, you definitely know it's your order because like 58 straight. Well, hang on, hang on, hang yeah, on. We're, we're, not, we're not in there yet because where we are is I've spilled a bit of petrol in my car. What yes. you doing? So <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? If I you spilled I, some petrol. I yeah. used to religiously get the water boy and pour a bit of water does on it. Does it matter? I'll leave it. I'll leave it. It doesn't matter, does it? I totally it eats away at the paint, right? Surely it does. It's not great. Um, Josh, on, on, on rounding the, the value, one of the most disappointing moments at a petrol station is being at, let's say, 58 dollars You go, I'm cracking 59 what? Boop, a little bit in, 59.02. Yeah, it's hell. Now what? Well, but, now, yeah. But it doesn't matter. It does. You're paying it on card. It used to matter. But now Dion, it doesn't. Do you roll the dice and you go, I'm going for 53? <laughs> Or you just settle and go, I blew yeah. it. I blew my shot. One of the most amazing feelings is go, I'm going to go for 53. All of a sudden, you get another kind of four or five seconds out. You're like, where was this extra space? You know, yeah. it's great. Were yeah. the bubble settling? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think but so. What, sometimes if you want to go really dangerous, you go full bore and try and stop hard mm. instead of like the Ooh. little bit more, little bit more, little yeah. bit more. Um, are you ever using the facilities around the petrol, any other facilities? What about giving your car a bit of a, you know, giving the window a, wind a bit screen. of a clean? Why? Yeah, windscreen wash is good. Dirty water, On though, occasion. isn't it? Very no, dirty. I've always found it to be incredibly clean. And to the point, <gasps> it's clean. I'm always like, why is this soapy? Where did the soap come from? If it's a clean bucket, <laughs> did they put soap at the bottom? Do you ever, thought, yeah, what about a wipe? Would you use a wipe? A wipe? Yeah, they've got wipes there, don't they? What do you mean a wipe? A, a, like, they've got the little pool wipes, don't they? I think, what? oh my no, God, it's just maybe paper that's towel. The... It's just paper towel. Is it? Yeah. Oh my God. One, one, <laughs> <laughs> what very satisfying feeling is using that squeegee. And having a very, cl- I think a squeegee on a window at any point, that is the that is the cleanest I think I can get any item. It feels great. Is a squeegee on a window. Wait, a squ- do you mean like the, the window squeegee or just you a separate squeegee? You know when you squeegee? sponge it and then you flip it around oh, and you squeegee yeah, yeah. down? Oh, yeah, yeah, squeegee, squeegee. When are you, you go ever down. getting, when are you, great. wait a second, no, 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 I'm going yeah. left to right, yeah, yeah, left to right, okay. whatever. Okay. That's not the point. I'm just saying, <laughs> how are you, how Too are much you, detail, Josh. <laughs> how are you ever getting an item cleaner than that? I've never felt so satisfied mm. as the, w- seeing the product of that clean. Well, do you know the the typically men that roam the streets with uh, traffic lights? Do they generally <laughs> they do- roam the streets <laughs> with traffic lights? <laughs> <laughs> it's absolute chaos. There's a red here. There's a green there. It's like a lacquer too, and a little cloud <laughs> for Mario Kart. Um, but do they typically do a good job of cleaning your window? I think they. Do. I think they do as well. They should. Like they've been doing it for ages, and yeah. that's that's all they're doing. Like in that moment, so they there's some there's some there has to be a way that they have a knowledge of traffic light systems, right? Oh yeah, yeah. they work that it. corner so much that they yeah, know exactly. Yeah. But always, I think the risk is I just don't think I don't think they've estimated correctly. So when they come up mm. and they're like, "Hey, would you like your window?" Um, there's not enough time, mate. Yeah. You're not going to do a great job and then I'm going to hold up traffic. I, yeah, that's a good point, actually, because they're really relaxed about the whole thing, but they're not so the relaxed. ones that are on the clock. It's you, right? It's the others that are going to beep you. They're not beeping the guy. I'm no, not I'm not sure if they're organically relaxed or there's something else at work there. <laughs> I would think so, Christian. <laughs> uh, just back to the petrol pumping. Uh, the other thing, how meticulous are you? You talked about spilling a little bit. Yep. How meticulous are you at making sure that nozzle is clear before it gets pulled out of the car? Wait, what? Yeah, oh, clear. Yeah. Oh, is it not yes. dripping? Yeah, yeah. Um, no, not really. Like, imagine me. Like, I've just, yeah, I'll, I'll take a sip it of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ever since I worked at a bar, I've done the same thing with my <laughs> petrol pump as when I pour a glass of wine. Really? At the you end of my, at the end, at the end oh, of my that pour. Is so funny. <laughs> A little shake. Uh, no, no, no. At the end of my wine pour, I do a oh twist God. at the end to round out the liquid. Please, hand behind your back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's funny. Gets a little napkin over the arm, <laughs> the forearm as well. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, that's funny. Gonna aerate the petrol. I, um, I do a lot. 
to really to the point Ooh. where I'm lifting up the hose to filter it down. Oh, so I grab gosh. the hose bit. That's obsessive. Because I don't want to spill the petrol on my car. But you said, and I heard the wording earlier, you said that you used to use the the the, the watering can. As in whenever I did accidentally oh, spill it. Don't even need but to. But now, now I don't really spill it anymore. My word. Yeah, I make sure I give it a good shake and dugga 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 dugga. Yeah. How lift up the pipe? Yeah, see, I'm, I've settled for few drops every time. Like I'm not filling up enough now for me to worry about it. And also I think it's because I have an old car. Yeah. In my head, I'm like, oh, old, wow. third-hand yeah, right. car, a couple of drops here and there. What's it going to matter? Because this talking point actually came from one of our listeners, didn't it, Christian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Emma Eagleton wrote to us and said, uh, well, she was she was interested in your story, Dion, yeah. that you almost ran out of petrol. And she was like, you know, there's a lot to discuss with petrol station etiquette. Uh, for example, if there's a line, do you move your car up before going in to pay, even though signs say not to move? Joshua? I think I don't. I rarely go to petrol stations wait, that busy. Wait, signs say not to move. Yeah, I've, you, you I've not move seen off. those. Well, actually, you know what we're talking about before probably makes sense because we were saying the person has to clear the Bowser, right? Yeah. So even if you move off, mm. the next person can't start filling their car until you've paid off that Bowser, right? Mm. So you may be not saving any time at all by doing that. Do you feel a responsibility when there's cars banked behind you? It's like a, it's like when you're turning a right-hand turn at an intersection. Ooh, yeah. I feel big responsibility when I'm I, at the front of that line. Yeah, and, and, and similar to what Emma's saying, maybe it's tangential, but if, I, if I'm behind someone who's filling up, yep. I'll wait... I'll see the accumulation of cars behind me. I'll always want to pull into the furthest one so that someone mm. can slide in behind me and also fill up. Oh, how about that? Are you waiting? Yeah. Say there's two, one in yeah. front of the other. Say the um, they both say the back person manages to pull out to the side. The mm. front one's finishing in a minute. Do you pull into spot two or do you wait. wait for spot one wait. to clear? I wait. Gotta wait. And, but I make you an assessment. Wait, right? I make an assessment on the type of person. Are they going to be quick to pay? Or yeah. are they going to be sluggish? Uh, are they going to be in there buying a fucking yep, meat can't, pie? You can't buy anything coffee? extra, can you, when nah, there's a queue? You've got, to be, you've got to be in and out. Christian, is it just an age assessment? Is, is this ageism playing nah, into No, things? it's not at all. At all. There's no age at play. I think if I'm seeing someone in high vis, I know that they're going to make <laughs> a few stops in there. Maybe there's yep. a coffee. Maybe there's a sandwich. Well, there you go. So when you're going in, a, a sale in a petrol station, it's not really a sale, is it? It's, it's just all, it's, it's all twofers. Yeah, they love a twofer. They love a twofer, but they're always more expensive. Why yeah. is it more expensive in there? Because convenience. Convenience. But it's not. But going to a supermarket's convenient. It's not. No, it's not. Because no, you're not. not there. You oh, literally yeah, convenience drive your car mask. in and out. <laughs> yeah. So but you think you're paying once again? Paint. We talked about that last week in terms of a can of Coke. Thirty three. 30, $35. <laughs> I just, I just filled up the tank with Coke, mate. How much is that? <laughs> what is the weird... Like, what's it, I, I bought an air freshener, like a car air freshener, because my car stunk from a, from a petrol station. Mm. I bought a jerry can as well one time. Yeah. Have you ever bought anything that's pretty yeah. remote? So one of the... One of the <laughs> I had a really weird moment uh, when I was living at my mum's place in Bulleen, like years and years ago, right? But because my mum has the cats there... One night I was out of cat food and I was like, oh shit, it's really late. The cats haven't eaten. Maybe the petrol station has some. Oh. So I walked to the local petrol station. What do you reckon, Josh? And cat food? Yeah, I reckon they and might. I reckon they would. And they had some cans of cat food. And I was mm. like, this is great. Cool. I'm a, I picked up the cat food. And then I, in my head, the thought process was, this guy's going to think I'm buying the cat food to eat it. Because no. it's super late at night. God, and he's funny. like, this guy's super strange, just walking in. So I then bought a Human razor, food. <laughs> oh, Rexona no. deodorant, what? like just this cheap shit to make it look like I was buying a few <laughs> things for the house. And and a spoon. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, you and I months and months ago were sitting around at a pub playing a very fun game where we tried to create fake movies from genres and then come up with the Trailer that would play at the Academy Awards yeah, when the, they were nominated. The famous scene. The famous scene. And we've given it a title now. It's called Never Seen It. Never Seen It. Oh, great. Very clever. That's great. How's jo- that spelt? <laughs> <laughs> Josh, I would like to deliver a film to you. Sure. The genre is 90s Australiana. <laughs> great. The film title is Only When the Queen Visits. <laughs> Love. <laughs> we won the competition. The Queen, she's coming here. Don't talk shit your whole life, Darren. Get real. (laughs) (laughs) 
What a okay. Awesome. All right, so the next scene. It's so much fun watching Josh just like the, just a couple of seconds before the line comes out. All right, Hopefully you get to see it one day. Uh, this one's for you, Dion. Yep. Uh, it's the drama called Louisiana, My Home. Mama mm. said I'm not meant to hang around with boys like you from out of town. Boys like me? You think I'm a boy? <laughs> Great stink guy during that. A <laughs> stink guy last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have put more of a gap. It would have been better. <sighs> Boys like me? You think I'm a boy? <laughs> uh, okay. Mine's actually, um, it was entered in the Cannes Film Festival. It's a short film. Uh, it's a horror. Oh. Called The Brass Hinge. Ooh. <laughs> he didn't lock the door. And I don't know what happened to the key. Wait, is the key in dad's house? Dad. Dad's been dead for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> such, such terror in your voice that your dad did. It's like, oh, well, the key no. might be his house, mate. <laughs> yeah. Also, for half of that, I was delivering it to Josh and then I delivered it to <laughs> yeah. Christian. I, that's why I was a bit thrown because so, I saw you turn. I'm like, so sorry. oh shit, this is me. <laughs> Now it's time for a new little segment uh, that we've come up with called Good At, Bad At. Um, We'll be sort of tossing this around uh, every other week. Uh, So this week is my turn to tell you guys something that I'm good at and something I'm bad at. Mm. And then we'll just explore it a little bit. Mm. So my Good At, Bad At for this week is I'm good at following instructions and building IKEA furniture and those kind of things. Mm. Mm. I'm bad at interior decorating. Great. And aesthetics of a space. And Great. to be honest... Don't buy Ikea then. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm good at that. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I would, in any time I need something put together, I would definitely call you, Josh. Great. But absolutely aligns with the fact that I'd never want your input on what my room looks yeah. like. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Caveat on that, Christian. You just want Josh to assemble it himself, Without right? me. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to, want to be you. around oh, you. Yeah. Wow. Because I know that you've got the structure. You'll read, like for me, putting together an Ikea flat pack... I don't want to... I want to look at the instructions as little as I can. I love it. Yeah, because I honestly think if it's missing a couple of bolts, fine, yep. whatever. If one of the shelves collapses halfway through using it, okay. How have you not died from furniture collapsing? Because I'm not... I'm. I'm not never buying some form of like structural piece of the house that hangs above your fall. bed. <laughs> it, is, it is a great way to feel like an idiot, I reckon. You get a piece of Ikea furniture, you look at the instructions and you fuck it up. There's no better way to <laughs> yeah. go, well, I am useless. Go so to bed, Dion. It's a, de- <laughs> it's a definite skill set though, right? Nah. Like some people like, I'm <laughs> putting bad the at this. Together. No, but I'm saying some people like, I'm bad at the spatial awareness like, yes. of putting yes. these pieces in this orientation. I think the key, there's a few key things I do. Right. You get a little bowl. You make sure you have all your bits. You get all your bolts and everything. They're in a bowl so they don't go floating around anywhere. Yes. And also, it's all about the orientation. So you want to orient the instructions with the pieces that you're putting together so you've got the same oh. visual. So you want to do it quickly, like, an, like Orient Express. <laughs> Josh, th- why does that at, or does it not extend to cooking? Because think about cooking from a recipe, right? It's just like an Ikea flat pack. I'm not putting screws in my pasta. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but also, it's way more important. I mean, having something collapse on you is pretty important, I'd say. But it's way more important. The food that you put... I think it's such a good point, Christian. Yeah. Well, Following a recipe. Well, does does Ikea it, do recipes? <laughs> they might. But I'm not like... I can't taste the Kallax bookshelf and go, need more salt. Why not? Like I can't. I, <laughs> no, but the whole tangibly, point... I can look at the Kallax and go, that piece isn't right. I've put the wrong thing there. No, Let's no, go no, again. No, 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 no. Because with the recipe, if you follow the recipe, you won't need any of that additional stuff. Exactly. Right? And for someone who can't pick whether it needs more or less salt, wouldn't you always cook? Wouldn't you enjoy cooking from a recipe book? I... A Swedish recipe book. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's. Thing, I never really have the exact ingredients. I think that's the problem. Okay. Yeah. And that's always I'm substituting ah. things here or there. Whereas the IKEA flat pack. You've got everything you need. It's right there. Here's everything. Well, yes. Christian, you just moved into a new house. We I came did. to visit the other night. We opened up Christian's pantry and Josh was like, that's a lot of food for one person. It looked uh, like a school camp pantry. Yeah, but I was like, I was like, the key to cooking is to have all of those Ooh, yeah. powders and the and everything so that, you, you know, sunflower seeds and pumpkin my, seeds. My and dream, it, it honestly has been my dream is to move into a place myself and then have yeah. containers and containers of bulk foods yep. because yep. I want to know... Cool. Tonight, I want to make that red lentil curry. All I've got my to- red. Yeah, yeah. All I need is tofu and whatever everything it is. Else. Yep, yeah, exactly. Other right. people dream about traveling the world. Mm. Christian dreams about 
I just don't have a lot of things in my pantry. No, no, no but this is better than following <laughs> And I'm a happy man. <laughs> I'm a very happy man right now. <laughs> no, but it's amazing having a pantry that you can just go, I can cook anything. I just need the, the ingredient that needs to be bought fresh. But Josh, I'm also super interested. The interior design thing. Yeah. Mm. Like, what does that extend to other areas of your life? Like, looking at you now, probably extends to right. clothing and imagine. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it does, though. It's, yeah. like, it's So, what is that? What's the basis of that? Uh, I think it's like, I don't, I don't have the vision. I don't, I can't look at a space and go, I reckon this would look sick if I did this and this and this Mm -hmm. to it. I kind of go, these are the things I have. I will arrange them in this way. But do you ever see photos of things and go, I like the look of that? Or someone wearing something and you're like, oh, that would look really cool. I'll try to find that. Clothes, I reckon, are quite body dependent. So like you want something that fits your look and your style. Especially because I've seen a lot of YouTube videos, let's say, of people's like ultimate desk setup 2021 updated oh. 2021 <laughs> <laughs> But you're making these videos sound cool. They do not sound cool but, yeah, at all. But you but just know that they're going to be really expensive though, right? Isn't that the problem with those? Or you lot. just get you inspo? <laughs> on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is there's plenty of inspiration out there, even using Pinterest to go, cool, I like, mm. I'll take the amalgamation of these 50 rooms and that's my look. Yeah, well, your your house, the way you've decorated your new place, Christian, and like it's got this like Scandi, like bare bones, like really nice, really great. Like Clean you've done board. a really nice job. And I'm like, that looks great. But I can't imagine myself doing that to my room. Ah, but okay. Josh, if your house was designed like that, your room was designed like that, do you think you would appreciate it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Because you said, I remember you said last time that you have plants around the house and you don't necessarily make those decisions, but you kind of notice them and you're like, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's it looks fine. great. Yeah, it looks great. That's but so I, I take no care in doing them. But yeah. then you appreciate it then. So would you pay money to have someone design those spaces? Yeah, I don't think so because I don't think I care enough. You don't value it. I go, I'm happy to value. have it, yeah. but I'm not going to spend effort and time and money so to maintain that. So if, you, if you're walking into your home, you don't really care what you're walking into. Like as long as there's the stuff that you need there, the look of it, eh, don't really... I, I think so. But I reckon mm. that like... You'd hope that changes over time, right? Like no, you should give I a shit. No, you should no, give a no, shit. No, no, I disagree. There is something refreshing about it. There's something refreshing about not giving a shit because that stuff ultimately in the realm of happiness of life and friends and family and stuff, it it doesn't matter as mm. maybe as much as those things. It does matter. Like it matters to me and matters to you, but I reckon that's pretty like bottom of the good. ladder. But yeah, the, the aesthetic point. of a room, there's definitely a mood that comes with it, that it feels yeah, nice. True. That's true. I, you know what it is? Yeah. I think it's, I think so long as the space is clean, that's ah. kind of it, right? Yes. Yeah. So Just not shit around and not doesn't look dirty. Yeah. And then the I'm thing, fine. Like, when you say my place, like the look that I have is not an original look. I've basically stolen it's very that derivative. From, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's it's stolen from many, many people who've been doing it for twenty odd years of going, Scandy, you have beiges and greys and, and greens. It's right. actually it's actually quite basic. And it is. so is mine and so is all everything that's popular. It's just basic it's stuff welcoming, that's everywhere. Though. That's the but whole you're lovely. right. It sets yeah. the mood. It's welcoming. I just called your place basic. I think I, I think I regret that. I like your place. I think you've done a great job. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Cheers. But but also the way that we like the way that I dress, it's basic. Like I, I dress basic. I've got new balance shoes, I've got skinny tight jeans and I've got a white top. Like great. I guess there's not a lot of scope there. But what about with clothes, Josh? Because clothes is that's that's something that uh, We've talked about this a bit, I think. Yeah, yeah. And it's that's more true. like I'm happy to get a bit dressed up when I go out, like of an evening, for an evening out. But just your yeah, everyday stuff, I'm not that bothered. Do you think Josh is a good candidate for Queer Eye, Christian? The T V um, show? I don't know. I, I kind of I don't think so because I don't think he's the, the thing about Queer Eye is a lot of those guys are lost. You're gonna be hopeless. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. like well, no, I no, ju- that, I just that, that's don't. what I. <laughs> 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 I think I think yeah, the, your, Josh isn't hopeless. Josh is going. No, I've picked the lanes that I want to be in. Yes, and those lanes are rules. But lanes. you know, you know what might happen if I went to Queer Eye and they were like, "Cool, here's new wardrobe, here's new stuff." I go, yep. "Cool, I'm gonna maintain this. Thanks, guys. Yeah. I'm not gonna be the reversion you, guy you who just, two months later is like, uh, couldn't keep that up." Josh needs to be able to buy his outfits from IKEA in a little flat pack. So yeah. He puts them together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but also, Josh, like one thing, take an example. You're moving into a new room. You need a new desk, right? What's your thinking behind that? This is an interesting one. What's your thinking behind that desk? What are you buying? Like, how are you it's going cost. about buying it? I'm just starting at cost. What do you think of that, I'm thinking Christian? 120 bucks for a desk. Christian, what do you Immediately. think? Immediately. What do you think when you buy, you want to buy a desk? I'm mm-hmm. thinking comfort, function, and then it looks good and also cost as well. Uh, yeah. So for me, it's got to be function. Like, yep. for example, the first time in the uh, start of COVID, 
I spent money like, and I I went into it going, oh, cool. This is the first time you're going to spend money yep. on a desk. And then I so, bought a desk, recommended this desk to you. Yep. Oh, didn't get much credit for that in that story. That's a shame. Sorry, I mean that's a shame. At the Stan. time, <laughs> at the time you got credit. Yeah, it's and true. And I'm not going to continue to give you credit. Why not? Why should I? It's because Dan, it's a it's story. Done. It's omnidesk.com. <laughs> <laughs> But it's a standing height variable electronic desk, yeah. right? Yes. So I'm yes. not interested in that at all. Why? Too expensive. Don't need it. Would not use that function. I just want flat top, sides, stable. That's what yeah, I'm looking for. Yeah, but stable, it's also stable. because you basically... Flat top. That's, that's a like, yeah, that's prerequisite great. for a you table a for me. Yes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Why is fake grass typically called synthetic grass, but fake plants are called fake plants? (laughs) (laughs) Hey, pen that runs out of ink, but still clearly has ink inside. What's up? Why is 21 degrees outside lovely and warm, but 21 degrees on an air conditioner is fucking freezing? (laughs) Oh, thank you. (laughs) Thank you for listening to Welcome to Patchwork. It's been very fun. Uh, We are gearing up uh, towards some very, very large episodes. We've got the Christmas special Mm. that'll be uh, in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, Christian, what else do we have to look forward to in the world? Global warming? (laughs) No, I think the big thing to look forward to, I'm just saying it, think about this, in a few patches' time, we are reaching our 100th episode. Yeah. We should do something fun for it, shouldn't we? And it it so happens that the 100th episode almost coincides exactly with five years of patchwork. Oh. Oh. It's very exciting. Does it coincide with anything else? Uh, the end of society as we know it. There we yeah. go. We got some great feedback on our bonus patch, our last bonus patch that we posted. Thanks so much for, for writing to us. Um, yeah, it's really, really fun to record those. If you would like to become a patron, you know what to do, don't you, Christian? Welcome to patchwork.com.au forward slash wrong URL. Then, <laughs> then go to patreon.com forward slash welcome to patchwork and sign up now. It's only a couple of bucks a month. You can support us. It actually helps quite a bit. For your mm. friends, your jolly old friends, St. Nick, St. <laughs> <Saint> Dion, <laughs> Little Helper Elf, and uh, Santa Claus. Uh, Josh, Dion, and Christian. <laughs> <laughs> and as we do every week, we sew a new patch into our quilt of friendship. Josh, what patch did you sew in our quilt? <laughs> Thank you, Dion. My patch this week was Christian working at a wine bar and pumping out Cab Sav for $1.75 per litre. <laughs> And Christian, what patch did you sew this week? Well, thank you, Josh. This week, I sewed into my patch, attending the petrol station restaurant and having my four sisters cab salve poured straight from the Bowser pump. (laughs) (laughs) And Dion, what did you sew into your patch this week? My patch this week is my dad filling up my car with petrol, giving it a light bump, and my car giving my dad a painful hip and shoulder onto the tarmac. (laughs) Thank you for listening to Welcome to Patchwork for another week. I've been Dion. I've been Josh. And I've been Christian. Goodbye. 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 Should hear what the <laughs> this won't make it? Is Christian running out of petrol near the Mary Creek and using Samantha's neck carcass as a jerry can? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Neck carcass. <laughs>